What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Kendra. We back with another video. What's up, y'all? We back with another video. Today is Friday, the last day of the school week. You y'all hear me? I just don't know how excited your girl is. But I tell you, my body just been so tight. Even though this week we only did three days because of the ice storm. But today we're about to get into this video. I was supposed to be did a while back, but I just kept getting sidetracked. And I never did do it. Then I was talking about because day he told me better gonna do because you post been did and so now i'm late but y'all if you're new to this channel welcome 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 and if you're returning welcome back and make sure you like comment and subscribe make sure you turn on your post notifications so you won't miss another video bitch y'all hear me turn on your post notifications so you won't miss another video period and make sure you tell you tell your auntie your uncle your cousin your best friend sister brother whoever mama daddy grandma granddaddy all of them tell everybody subscribe to your girl period but anyway y'all we finna jump right to this video so i was supposed to video this a couple months ago when i did um i moved to houston but i promise you y'all when i tell y'all it was just like my body was just so tired and overwhelmed just from that long drive that i didn't even want to think about as far as how long it took what all happened on the drive? Doing the drive with five kids. I ain't gonna lie. The kids wasn't even so much as the problem. It was just the drive in itself just was like, oh, I like just so freaking long, y'all. We we woke up. Let me let me tell you why this drive was so hard. But first of all, that Thursday, um, August the third. Excuse me, yeah. I got up early morning. We had to go to the U-Haul place, pick up the U-Haul. That took a minute. Then not only did we go to one U-Haul, we went to two U-Haul companies. Because um the one that they gave us the truck yet did not have the um dolly for the car. Cause we drove my car, my cousin drove the U-Haul truck, and he pulled bobo car on the back of it i know right so i like a lot we want to do that because we want for the chance tan up nobody still i could drive for you all truck but i've never driven one with a car on the back of it so i wasn't gonna take that chance because i know me i know i've been messed up something so i wasn't gonna do that and bobo didn't want to take no chance because he's never took a long drive um you know driving and his eyesight ain't all it you talking about concentrate the whole road that's what we thought anyway but so Start off, got the U-Haul truck, got the dollar for the car. Um, went to we had to go to the storage, unload everything out the storage. I had to clean up, you know, the storage, get the little dust and stuff, because you know, you know, a little paper and stuff that was on the floor. Got the truck loaded, took it back to his dad's house to sit there. Then my cousin came, well, it was the last day, so we wanted to see people before we left. So, we decided to go down to his cousin's house. Knowing good and well, we should have been at home sleep. Because we knew we had to get up. I had to get up at 3. And I was waking everybody else up at, at 3, too. Because, not might as well. Because we had stuff that we had to get from there. Because we had moved out of our house. And uh, we were staying at his daddy's house. Um, until the house um, got ready for us to come up here. So... I get, I, we get, leave his cousin's house at like after 10 o'clock. Instead of him coming straight to his dad's house with me and the kids, he had to go to the, a whole nother side of town to go see his sister, which, you know, that's understandable, but we was working on short time here now. So I got back, made all the kids took a bath. We all took our bath that night. And I told them go and put on their clothes because I didn't want to have to wake them up at no three o'clock in the morning talking about, get up and get your um and put your clothes on y'all know how kids is all i wanted to do was wake them up tell them get whatever they got in there because we tried the night before to put whatever we had in his house on in a truck but it still didn't work like that because we had covers and 
stuff like that um that we had to do and uh we had an air mattress that was blew up that we had to take down as well so we um got up at three o'clock in the morning i had to drive all at my cousin's house to pick him up which he was up and he was uh, got him up he was good that was quick fast it wasn't far from his day the house so that was cool we get back we were supposed to hit the road at 4 o'clock, but I had to wait on my god babe because she wanted to see us before we hit the road. So we, um, she met us over his dad's house. Uh, by the time I got back, I think they was there. Yeah, I think by the time I got back, they was there. So we chatted with them for a minute. Hit the road. Well, yeah, we turned around, hit the road. Well, we didn't hit the road right then. We had to go down the street and put some more gas in U-Haul truck because I had drove the U-Haul truck um a couple of spots the day before so we had to put the gas back up so we wouldn't have to stop so soon at least that's what we thought anyway so we get on the road got gas hit the road i promise y'all we got on if anybody watching this that stay in birmingham no we got on the freeway fourth avenue south in roebuck halfway down the highway i said we got to maybe east lake area and i was well we was passing east lake we passed the airport actually and i was like but well, joe it's saying my tie is low man y'all it's after four o'clock it's going on five o'clock in the morning and it's telling me my tire is low we pulled over got off on 31st pulled over my tire was flat y'all and the main thing we had forgot to get the day before and i said i was gonna get was a freaking car jack. I forgot to go to Walmart and get a car jack. So what we decided was we was gone. They said they were gonna put air in it. Bobo and my cousin decided to put air in the tie. Said that we'll just um put the air in there and see how that goes. So they put the air in there, the tie did not go back flat. So he was like, well, it's five o'clock in the morning. No tie shops is open this time of morning. So they was like, well, what we gonna do is we just gonna put the air in there and every time we have to stop, we just have to stop. So we put the air in there, hit the highway. I ain't gonna lie. Once we put that air in there, it starts seeping out, but whatever it was, like it was a peewee hole. When I tell you a peewee hole, it was so little that I drove that car for two more hours without having to put no air in it, nothing. We just drove the only reason why we did it did because i was scared to drive over like 50 and um i was like i did not want to keep driving this slow it's gonna make this long drive take even longer driving this slow so i like <clears throat> okay we're gonna find somebody to um a tie shop and my y'all we in a at this point we going heading into mississippi that's where we were from mississippi y'all remind y'all now at this time it's 7 30 in the morning so i found the little thing that said it was a tie shop on the way in the direction we was going i said okay cool get out the freeway go to the service station that said that the tie shop was there but when we went back there the tie shop was banned they said that it only had been closed a little while but y'all the roof was falling in this the, sh the, sh the shit looked like it had been banded for over 30 years like it looked just so bad but they was like they was in the midst of remodeling it didn't look like it was but the lady was like well i know the people at the um tie shop i can see well somebody it to see if they have time to come by here and get you going i said okay so she called them me and bubble just sitting there talking so the dude evidently asked her was i by myself she was like no he was like she was like no She's not by herself. She got somebody with her. Mm -mm. So it was a man in the store. He was like, good thing it was one of them little, um, like, I guess, a, like a gas station there. A lot of people stop it on the way through traveling. Like, it was like a, it wasn't a big store. It was like a mom and pop store. Like, you know, something like that. So um, they had the stuff to fix a flat. So it was a guy in there was like, um, just give him a couple of dollars and he will plug the tie for us. Cool. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. That was August the 4th. It is now January the 19th. And I still have that same very tie on my car. He did a good job.
he did a good job. So keep going on. So then we was um we got back on the road, got to riding or whatever. So everything going smoothly. Y'all, we had to literally stop every hour and a half to two hours to fill a damn U-Haul truck up. And I tell y'all, it took a nine and a half hour drive and turned it into 13 like this, like this. You talking about somebody was pissed. I was so pissed because we literally had to keep stopping. We stopped more to gas that truck than we did to use the bathroom. Cause we did not use it everywhere we stopped. Cause I'm I'm very picky when it comes down to that, especially for me and my girls. Cause you know the boys, easy. Me and my girl know we not sitting anywhere, squatting anywhere. I don't care. So, y'all, we gets to Louisiana. The tax situation happened in Mississippi. We get to Louis, get through Louisiana. I had told Brandon. Then we had to go over the bridge because I thought that was the bridge we had to go over to New Orleans. So him, I ain't gonna lie, y'all, I was floating. So I wasn't paying no attention to me getting so far ahead of him. I took the exit that he told us to go coming towards Texas. He thought about when I said we got to go over the bridge, the water one. This boy kept going, didn't even pay attention to his GPS. And we end up having to pull up on the freeway for like 10, 15 minutes. Because Brandon had to get out, I guess, get off the freeway and get back on and come back around just to come to us. Because he did not know that we had turned off. And my son, Mike, was in the truck with him and told him, oh, I seen them um, turn off. I thought I thought um, you knew where you were going. Somebody that he told him. So we had to wait on them, y'all. And it was so crazy. It was mad traffic, y'all. When I tell you it was mad traffic coming down that highway, I was scared. Don't like being on the side of the freeway. That irritates me because them trucks come through there, you copy like this. I don't like that. I done seen too much where people swing off and hit somebody. I'm like, man, that scared the shit out of me. So then, time go on. We he he come. We good. We get the back to riding again. This boy know that I'm scared of heights. He didn't tell me ahead of time. Well, he did tell me about one, but he did not tell me it was two. So we get to get to Baton Rouge. We on the goddamn freeway, and a freeway wrapped into a bridge. Y'all, I'm gonna insert it. Follow right here. Right here. The bridge go up in the air when i tell y'all when i tell y'all thank god i wasn't driving at this point in time bubble was and he was actually scared of it too because we ain't used to that it was like a steep hill time i going up we ain't like that we get into keep going we hit i guess right at texas lake charles or wherever that is it's right there by texas i'm driving at this point we come across another bridge they go up in the air. And guess who got to drive it? Me. Do y'all know I was headed to full, full blown panic attack? I told y'all, I I have a fear of heights. I, I don't care about telling nobody. I don't do road coasts. I don't do none of that because I have a fear of heights. I deal with anxiety. I will have a panic attack. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I was trying to talk to them to keep from stressing out. And I'm going to post that one right here. Because I'm telling y'all, them bridges, anybody who coming from that way, Alabama, Georgia, anything, you just better know that you got two steep bridges to cross to get to Houston. Because y'all know Houston at the bottom of the map. So we had to take the low route just to get there. So everything going good besides stopping every two hours to get the gas. Listen, y'all, we were supposed to make it to this house at, excuse me, 3.30. Every time I look, look around, the time to get pushed back. And we're not going to even forget the part where we stopped at one mom and pop store to get some gas. Bubbo and Brandon wants to get chicken fingers out of the place. You can't eat everybody's food. This place look like they probably could have cooked them things that morning. They just been sitting there because the damn store is basically in the middle of nowhere. So I know they ain't getting that much goddamn business. Like, and then the chicken fingers was... Big. I mean, they was some big ass chicken fingers. It looked like it was the whole bridge they cooked they all in itself. I'm not lying. So y'all, moving on along. We we get to Houston, y'all. It literally was. We 
did not make it to Houston until 5.30. We was two hours behind our scheduled time. So they knocked it up to, what, 12 hours? Yeah. Almost 12 hours. Okay. We were supposed to be in, um, got there, yeah. No, I take that back. I'll drive, yeah, it was 13 hours because we left at 5 o'clock. So we get to Houston, good old Houston, at 5 30. We was like, cool, we here now, thank goodness. We only two hours behind. Uh uh, 5 30, traffic. Anybody who be in Houston, know about Houston, been in Houston, stay in Houston, however, no. Probably Texas, period, because I see there's a lot of places that complain about traffic, but I know for a fact Houston has terrible traffic. We got here at 5.30. My y'all, I was so excited that we was here. I was not listening to the GPS. I got my phone trying to take pictures of the dome. I was so happy. I'm going to show y'all the picture that I got of it. I, if I still got it, but we're going to see. I'm going to post it right here if I do. Y'all, I couldn't even get a good picture. Me trying to get this picture not paying attention. Guess what, y'all? We missed the exit to go to the house. We wrapped to the left and we post kept straight. So guess what? Brandon the past us now. He going on towards the house. Because he got the address in his GPS. While me, Bobo, and four of the kids, because Fat Daddy was with him. And four of the kids, we then went another route. Y'all, when I tell y'all, it was the worst. I ain't gonna lie, that boy cussed me out from A to Z. He was pissed at me because we missed that turn. Because, baby, we had to go all around the dome and come all the way back around, get off the freeway just to get back on it another route. And it was still traffic, bonker bonk. My y'all said we hit Houston at 5.30. When we got to this house, which is located in Katy, it was 6.30, almost 7 o'clock. It was getting ready to get dark when we made it to this house. We was literally in traffic for like an hour or something because it was literally bumper to bumper. These people don't know how to drive. They cut you off. They just jump all in front of you, do all this little extra stuff. But baby, you ain't getting no further than what you was getting when you was where you was. So why do all that? So we got to deal with people that wrecked out to this side. So everybody got to try to get to this side. Y'all know that. Well, I ain't going to say down in Houston. I don't know. They don't have as many lanes. But baby, when you come up here to Katy, this shit is, this freeway is huge. So back there, we probably was dealing with maybe four or five, four or five lanes maybe. And it had like two and three of them shut down because we was like working on like two lanes, if I want to say. Because the cars was busted up on this side, so we just kept going to bump the bump. Traffic, y'all, it was the worst experience. But thank God that the kids did not stress us out as bad as I thought they was. Now, when we was doing our trips every year, our annual family trips going to Florida, them children be like, Ma, is we almost there yet? They didn't do that this time. Them kids was in the back either sleep. I used the phone to play movies. I ain't gonna lie, we, we, we just had the time. The ones that was on the third row had the cover, and they made them a fourth. Yeah, when I tell y'all that drive went smooth with the kids, but as far as just trying to get here, all the stopping, like I advise anybody who's trying to move, if you got if you ain't got that much stuff, don't try to get a new house truck. Not being got it. Cause the U-Haul truck high as hell. We damn paid for everything and all almost a thousand dollars just to get it up here. Just to bring it up here. Like it was hell. But I tell you, it was expensive. Plus, we spent <clears throat> we spent like um probably like four hundred dollars maybe four hundred and some dollars in gas for that truck and i don't know if it was because the truck was pulling his car but it was sucking gas down it was already hot as methuselah because it was um summertime it was already hot so you know he got the ac running because everybody been being a big hot truck plus the truck was loaded with furniture beds stuff like that plus he got a big ass um car the buick on the back of it so all that together was just drinking gas my car every time we stopped to get gas for um the truck 
my car wouldn't even be on the half. So I put $20, $25 in there just to knock it back up. Just so I wouldn't have to worry about it getting low. Like I probably didn't even spend a hundred and fifty dollars in gas for my car. I probably probably I probably only spent a hundred if that because I only was putting twenty dollars here and there every time we stopped. But just to keep it from going low, I barely was touching a half, and that's crazy. I'm burning the hell out of air because, like I said, it's August. The beginning of August, it was hot. It was hot, and then to get up here to see that it was damn still even hotter here than it was back home like when we first got here we was dealing with 110 degree weather i'm like oh, i ain't used to this i can do the 90s but 100 and some feeling like 120 125 that shit is hot but y'all i think i done ramble along too long because it's been like 20 minutes and i don't want to keep soak y'all in about this trip but y'all that was the trip from hell and i promise you if i was able to do something like that i'm gonna be more prepared mentally physically and emotionally because like i said i i, I didn't go to sleep to 12 o'clock 12 30 and i had to get back up at three so guess what i didn't do most of the driving normally i do but bubble had to do it this time because my body was tired every time i got behind a wheel i would get sleepy so he had to do most of the driving this trip i probably say i probably did six hours and he probably did seven hours of the drive i know he did more than me i know i didn't do that much I promise you. And normally it'd be me to do all the driving. And he'd sit back in the seat and go to sleep. But he couldn't do that this go round. <laughs> he hated that though. But it was a very fun experience. Because that was all about our first long trip. We had never been nowhere. And traveled that far. Like the most we did was like six hours. I want to say. So it is most definitely experience to remember. I promise you. But y'all, I'm not going to keep rambling and talking y'all ear off. That's going to be the end of this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you turn on your post notifications, y'all, so y'all won't miss another video. Do you hear me? Turn on your post notifications so you won't miss another video. I'm telling y'all, I'm trying to be more consistent with y'all. This video finna go up late. But y'all, happy Friday. Have a great weekend. Be safe. And always remember, I love you.